Hello and welcome to this week's edition of CIS Friday Morning News. This week we'll be covering the Chinese Experience Program, the Latin Death, and the Royal Wedding. All students from years 7 to 9 will be visiting various parts of China. The year 9s will be staying in the Yangshuo Park Resort Hotel. The year 8s will be staying in the dorms of the school they're visiting. And the year 7s will be staying at the Super 8 Hotel. It promises to be a great experience. The students will interact with the China local students and families, along with other activities such as biking, sightseeing, and sports. participated in the Tsingtao Interschool Debating Championships. After beating DGS in the semifinals, CIS got into the finals. Uh, right now, we're against SIS, the defending champions. We're really going to need your support there. It's going to be held at the uh, Queen Elizabeth Stadium with 2,000 people watching. It's on the 20th of May, right after CEP, from 5 o'clock to 9 o'clock p.m. Uh, there will be a shuttle bus that will take you there and one that will take you back. Um, Sign-up sheets will be delivered to your homeroom. Uh, like I said before, we're really going to need your support there. Go Team CIS! Globally, the world is reacting to two events of the century. Bin Laden was killed by the U.S. Navy SEALs in Pakistan in a swift and secretive mission. The heavily guarded house of Bin Laden was demolished. It sure puts doubts about Pakistan's role in the whole matter, right? And so shortly after taking office, I directed Leon Panetta, the director of the CIA, to make the killing or capture of bin Laden the top priority of our war against al-Qaeda, even as we continued our broader efforts to disrupt, dismantle, and defeat his network. Then, last August, after years of painstaking work by our intelligence community, I was briefed on a possible lead to bin Laden. It was far from certain, and it took many months to run this thread to ground. I met repeatedly with my national security team as we developed more information about the possibility that we had located bin Laden hiding within a compound deep inside Pakistan. And finally, last week, I determined that we had enough intelligence to take action and authorized an operation to get Osama bin Laden and bring him to justice. Today, at my direction, the United States launched a targeted operation against that compound in Abbottabad, Pakistan. A small team of Americans carried out the operation with extraordinary courage and capability. No Americans were harmed. They took care to avoid civilian casualties. After a firefight, they killed Osama bin Laden and took custody of his body. For over two decades, bin Laden has been al-Qaeda's leader and symbol and has continued to plot attacks against our country and our friends and allies. The death of bin Laden marks the most significant achievement to date in our nation's effort to defeat al-Qaeda. Yet his death does not mark the end of our effort. There is no doubt that al-Qaeda will continue to pursue attacks against us. We must and we will remain vigilant at home and abroad. Yes, and in other news, Kate Middleton and Prince William got married in the Westminster Abbey of London. In front of millions of spectators, Grand ceremonies suggest that British are still the best at putting up a show of chivalry and patience. Catherine Elizabeth. To my wedded wife. To my wedded wife. I haven't evolved from this day forward. For better, for worse. For whichever for. In sickness and in health. To death and to cherish. To death us to part.
Friday morning news. Have a great week in CIS.